Uh, the bloggies, I think, are about five or six years old now. Um, I was, you know, online when the first one sprung up, and I thought, wow, that's really cool. Um, it's basically, and we like to call it um, our Oscars, which is kind of making us feel better about ourselves. And I was nominated for Best Kept Secret, and it kind of took me by surprise because, you know, the bloggies came up another year, another January, and I mentioned to my readers, you know, this is really cool, and I would be honored you know, if you know, if you guys were voting, if you could just kind of write me in, because you could write in any blogs. And I mean, the process went, and the first stage is people just kind of send in um, any blogs they think would fit, and mine got sent in there. And stage two was there's a panel of 50 people, and uh, they choose from this huge list of blogs the um, top five that they think most fit into the category. When I was nominated, I was picking my sister up from school. She's in eighth grade, and um, I was, you know, driving and texting, which is a terrible thing to do. But um, I checked my phone, and I went to the website, and um, I knew that they were being announced that day. So I scrolled down to my category, and uh, my sister was with me, and I was so thrilled that I had to pull into the parking lot and just stop for a moment because it was just, you know, wow, it was great. The bloggy ceremony is in Austin, Texas. Uh, at the South by Southwest convention, which is most popular, popularly known for its uh, music festival, but the week before there's an interactive festival. And um, during uh, the conference, there's a lot of panels, it's a lot like PodCamp, and uh, they have one of the panels is the Bloggy Awards, and there's basically just a little, well it's a pretty big room, and uh, there's a stage set up and rows of chairs, and you know, it's just like any other ceremony. And, well, I think one of the biggest criticisms with uh, putting yourself online so much is that you're kind of taking yourself away from the real world. And the fact that I was uh, able to travel through the means of the generosity of my readers, I mean, that's as real world as it gets. And uh, I was really lucky that um, I very sub subtly, subtly asked for help. And, um, you know, I, I just got enough money and I was able to go, which was completely unexpected. I wasn't sure if I was going to get laughed at or uh, people are going to say, oh, you know, you don't deserve to go to Texas, but I mean, people really came through for me and it was awesome and I got to go to Austin. The actual ceremony, I was, I was really excited because not more so that I got to meet these people who I've been reading for maybe five or six years. Um, and uh, in Austin, I was able to pretty much meet my blogging idols. And since blogging has become such a big part of my life, you know, I do have blogging idols and they're like my favorite writers. And um, aside from writers though, they're people who really, um, who have pictures of themselves online, who really expose their lives online. So being able to meet them in person was surreal. And um, I actually was sitting next to uh, Deuce, which is Heather Armstrong and her husband John Armstrong at the ceremony. And I had someone go up on stage and take a picture of me just sitting by them without calling their attention because I was just so thrilled and I was so humbled. And um, one of the nice things about PodCamp and about conventions is that people are all kind of together. We're all kind of on the same page and it's really not like that. Uh, people don't really hold themselves in higher regards um, in terms of blogging or podcasting and they're really open to new ideas and to um, meeting admirers, meeting readers. So um, I actually, once I started talking to her, it was less of a superstar moment and more of a um, sharing, collaboration, um, how did you get where you are type of thing. Now, driving and texting is very bad. 